Greetings, welcome back to Ministry Monday. Last week I talked with you about responsibility and not trying to claim for ourselves responsibilities that are not really our own. I want to talk with you this week about the reality of the unlevel playing field. I believe you see this in the scripture. Jesus taught this, this parable of the soil. And uh, we preach it, we teach it often. We talk about the birds taking the, the seed away. We talk about the rocks, the stony ground. We talk about the thorns that spring up and choke out the fruitfulness. But as Jesus comes to the conclusion of the parable, he makes an interesting observation. He said, for the good ground, some brings forth 30-fold, some 60-fold, and some 100-fold. There are different types of soil. The quality of soil can be changed, but that's a process of time, and I'm not sure it can be done in just broadcast fashion, where you change the soil for hundreds of acres at one time, or where you change the soil for a great city like Vancouver or Montreal or Miami or any of the other places that we might consider needing more godliness, and I guess all would be included in that. The enemy of the seed, the birds, the rocks, and the thorns can all be addressed. We can shoo away the birds, we can find the rocks, pull them out of the soil, and we can pull the weeds that grow up and choke out the Word of God. But then in success, good ground, no weeds, no rocks, birds leaving the seed alone. There is ground that produces 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold. There are places it's easier to plant, sow, and reap and gain a harvest than there are in other fields. Does a farmer with soil that is less productive evaluate his ability as a farmer on the number of bushels his fields produce? No. He realizes that his soil is unique. It may be excellent, or it may be a place that produces 30-fold. Has God called you to the Northwest or to Boston or New York? Has he called you to a place that is not in the Bible Belt? Because in the Bible Belt, in many instances, it's easier. There's already, to some degree, a culture of Bible belief, and there are an abundance of churches of every stripe imaginable. If you're in these places, Detroit, Vancouver, Boston, that is your field. Don't let reports of the bushels gathered from any other place discourage you about your field and your work for God. Know yourself. Know where you are. Know what God has you doing and where he has you doing it. And if you're diligently sowing seed and working to improve the soil by getting to know what people in the community are living through and going through, you're doing what God wants you to do. Do all you can. Shoo the birds away. Gather rocks. Pull them out of the field. Jerk weeds up. Know your soil. But don't be intimidated ever by someone else's report if you're giving it everything you have got. 30-fold is a great increase. Enjoy the increase and keep on planting.